What the heck kind of name for a streaming service is Max anyway? Hey everyone, this is Kevin T. Rodriguez, film critic of iCritic.net. Welcome to my media channel. And the worst kept secret in Hollywood, at least the current worst kept secret, has been announced today. Warner Brothers Discovery announced that come May 23rd, HBO Max will no longer be HBO Max. It will be shortened to just Max. Now, with this change, you will not only be getting all the HBO Max content that you got, but a lot of the stuff from the Discovery Plus app will also be migrated over to Max so that you not only have the best in scripted television, but you have, in my opinion, some very good reality TV shows that Discovery is known for making. And for those who are Discovery holders and they just, you know, who subscribe to Discovery Plus, but they don't want like Game of Thrones or the Sex and the City reboot or things like that, they can just keep subscribing to Discovery Plus because original plans to shut that app down have been canceled. They also announced that the Harry Potter series would be getting a rebooted TV series, which personally I'm looking forward to. I think there's room for both. I wish it were animated personally, but hey, a season dedicated to each book, which means we can have the same great story plus more of the book. And the fact that the first two books felt pretty episodic in and of themselves, yeah, I'm okay with that. And here's one of the best parts about this whole thing. There will not be a price increase. It is going to cost the same price. So really, there is nothing but upsides to this deal. The one thing that people really seem to be getting caught up about is why on earth is the service being rebranded to Max? Because here's the thing. HBO is a pristine name in television. It is absolutely one with a high pe pedigree and acclaim across the board. People love HBO. And why would you drop that from your service? Isn't that one of your biggest assets? And here's the thing. I personally believe that dropping HBO from HBO Max is not a good idea. I will agree with you. I think it should stay HBO Max. But I can think of two legitimately good reasons on why they decided to make this change. First of all, when it was called HBO Max, a lot of people assumed they were getting primarily HBO content. And while HBO content is certainly quite prevalent on the app, a lot of that content never aired on HBO nor was it made by HBO, nor was it designed for HBO. And while HBO has made some bad series before, most of the time their series are really good. And so once you start putting programs on an app called HBO Max, people start thinking that HBO made those shows when HBO did not make those shows. And therefore you could potentially start diminishing the brand. So that's problem number one. Maybe this whole Max thing is to protect the HBO brand. But there's a second reason I think might be a more logical reason. While HBO has a reputation for being high quality and artistic and daring, it also has the reputation of being adult with sometimes a lot of violence, a lot of language, a lot of nudity. Many HBO shows are not suitable for families. And with the exception of Sesame Street, I can't really think of anything HBO has produced in the last 10 years that I would feel comfortable letting a kid see. So I'm gonna share a story with you. I have finally convinced my in-laws to cut the cord. Let's drop the cable bill, subscribe to Netflix, Hulu, and HBO Max, and you will have everything that you need 
and you can save $150 on your bill. Now, they are sharing the Netflix password with their son, who was living with them at the time, as well as the, the Hulu, so they didn't need to sign up for those. They ended up signing up for Peacock because one of their favorite shows is on Peacock and they were going to lose access to it without it. And HBO Max. But my father-in-law and my mother-in-law, for that matter, both questioned why was I trying to set them up with HBO Max. They're a little old school. They're religious. And their perception of HBO is that it's a channel with a lot of shows with adult themes and nudity. They're not completely wrong, by the way. I told them, well, on cable, um, your favorite channel is Turner Classic Movies, and Turner Classic Movies is on HBO Max. By the way, they've been enjoying watching Turner Classic Movies at the click of a button and just being able to pick the movies they wanna watch, not simply see what's on the channel. But I had to convince them that HBO Max was not just this adult service. This was a, this had a bunch of things in there. I told them like when the grandkids come by, they have DC comic stuff and Lego cartoons and the Looney Tunes. And they, one of them asked Looney Tunes on HBO? Like it seemed crazy to them. Why would the Looney Tunes be associated with an adult brand like HBO. And I know several people at church who delayed getting HBO Max because they thought similar things. They thought it was all Game of Thrones and Sex and the City. They didn't realize you could watch Jimmy Stewart movies and Alfred Hitchcock or Clint Eastwood films. The HBO name got in between that. So, I'm thinking they dropped HBO because here's the other thing. With the marketing with HBO Max, obviously they were going to push the HBO shows first. That was going to be the marquee titles, if you will. But, by renaming it to Max, they can emphasize everything. HBO doesn't get priority over DC or Looney Tunes or Harry Potter and those don't have precedence over HBO. Max will encompass everything and everything will get equal time. Now again, I don't completely agree with this decision. I think HBO Max was a good name. I think HBO Max was definitely a selling point and they definitely run a risk of people not realizing that Max is the home of HBO properties. But at the same token, I also agree that maybe taking HBO out of the title will open it up for a more general audience who maybe don't like the adult reputation that HBO carries with it sometimes. Maybe it will actually help the HBO brand themselves because you don't start watching like Teen Titans Go and think that HBO made it. They didn't. And so I think that's why it's being changed. Again, I don't know if I completely agree with it, but that's my suspicion. Question is, what do you all think? Do you think this is a good idea, a bad idea? I'd love to know. Comment below. Like, favorite, share, subscribe. And as always, flame responsibly. Have a good one.